Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Today is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. This chart from NASA shows how much solar radiation different parts of the Earth receive during different parts of the year. Right now there's no solar radiation at the South Pole, while the North Pole is receiving more solar radiation than any place else on Earth. The Sun is shining at the North Pole 24 hours a day and is relatively high in the sky right now. But according to the Danish Meteorological Institute, the North Pole is having their coldest summer on record. Temperatures have been persistently below normal for the past month and have just now gotten above freezing. For some reason though, CNN and MSNBC have forgotten to report this important information. This week in 2008, NASA's leading climate scientists reported that we're toast. June 24, 2008, exactly 20 years after warning America about global warming, a top NASA scientist said the situation has gotten so bad that the world's only hope is drastic action. James Hansen, director of the Goddard Institute of Space Sciences, told the Associated Press this is the last chance. June 24, 2008, Hansen, echoing work by other scientists, said that in five to ten years the Arctic will be free of sea ice in the summer. Congressional Democrats said, Dr. Hansen is right. We recognize him as a climate prophet. But there's been no change in Arctic sea ice extent since he made that prediction in 2008. So let's go back to this week in 1988. Global warming has begun expert tells Senate. The night before the 1988 hearing, James Hansen and Senator Tim Worth of Colorado snuck into the hearing room and sabotaged the air conditioner. Washington can be extremely hot this time of year, and when they sabotaged the air conditioner, they made it seem much worse. This date in 1988 was the hottest on record in the United States. The average temperature around the country was 93 degrees. Almost half of the country was over 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. The trend of hot weather in the United States has been sharply downwards over the past 80 years, but they picked an excellent date in 1988 to do their global warming scare show. And they sabotaged the air conditioner because of science. Forty years ago, Hansen predicted 15 to 18 feet of sea level rise. And in 1988, Hansen predicted that within 20 or 30 years, Lower Manhattan would be underwater. But it looks to me from this webcam like Lower Manhattan is still there. Also this week in 1988, Hansen predicted that the waters of the Great Lakes were going to evaporate rapidly. But there's been no change in Great Lakes water levels over the past century. It would appear that Democrats' description of Dr. Hansen as a climate prophet was not completely accurate. But it might just be a misunderstanding of how they spell the word prophet. Former Vice President Al Gore, who had a few years earlier released an Oscar-winning film, shared his ideas with the president. We have the opportunity now to create jobs all across this country, in all 50 states, to repower America, Al Gore had already encouraged billionaire airline owner Sir Richard Branson to invest big time in green energy. Branson is pledging future profits from his airline to the tune of perhaps three billion dollars. Three billion, that's the B, to fight global warming. Is Al Gore a prophet? <laughs> um, uh, I just spell profit. Apparently, Dr. Hansen was correct, and this was simply a spelling error by the Associated Press. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this scam for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, Caesar, Upala, and Toki on the web at realclimatescience.com.